Okay, I feel like a Dr. Frankenstein here. Someone asked the questions, why do you have multiple lenses, especially uh, ones that don't work? This is certainly the answer. I got in uh, another basically free lens today, a 50 millimeter pancake on a body, an old Nikon body. Um, but uh, as you can actually see here, you see this, it actually looks like haze but it's not. It looks like fine little tiny watt spots. And if I actually place a, well not a cloth underneath there, but something black like this. Here you can actually see it's clear over here and lots of tiny little white dots. If you actually look really closely, and I can't get the light exactly perfect, it'll actually look like a tiny rainbow scattered amongst those dots. And uh, that is not haze or dust. What it is, um, balsam separation can actually manifest two different ways. It'll actually manifest as like a fracture, as I showed you in a prior video. You can actually see where this element is actually uh, optically cemented with, uh, uh, together with uh, this rear element. This actually is the rear element, but it's actually two pieces. And what's happened is that this lens got hot and dried, and you can actually see it there. There's a ring right there where it's actually creeping. And uh, this is balsam separation. It looks like dust if you look through the lens. If you look closer, you'll go, oh, those are tiny little white speckles. That's haze, but it's actually balsam separation. Now, this is going to be fixed, but it's a $50 lens, and it's a real pain in the fanny to actually fix that. So what I've done is I've actually taken another damaged lens and taken it apart, and I'll be like Frankenstein, and uh, build another lens from that. And I don't recommend anybody taking lenses apart, but here, for example, I've already started it, and I'll place a piece of silicone here. And uh, what happens is, is that you actually press in with a uh, rear lens cap like this. You'll actually take the silicone right here and take a rear lens cap, drop it here, press against it, and you're unscrewing it. That's the only way to get that off of there. They actually make a special tool for that, but you don't need it. You just need some piece of non-slip silicone or rubber. And I'm going to be removing, see this has got a bad front element here. And I'm going to be removing this one and replacing it with this mostly good lens over here. Because this one has uh, balsam separation issues. And fixing that is a pain in the fanny and it's not worth it for 50 bucks. So you can see. Here we go. I have to remove those three screws. I'm able to take this uh, front element out. That is that right there. And um, thank you for watching, okay? Remember, if you're taking lenses apart, I've warned everybody in the prior videos, you don't know what you're doing. You're going to cause issues and getting everything lined back up. It's like, oh, it's so simple. It doesn't have that many parts. Yeah, but getting it lined up correctly, especially like with these little stops right here. Getting these stops is like uh, reassembling a... Uh, a, a tumbler on a lock and uh, it frustrates the hell out of people. It looks really really simple but it's very deceptively not simple. So thanks for watching. 